this is just a quick documentation of um, my first level in EDK so far. Um, this is for an interactive narrative project. I'm putting this up just to, well it's easier than showing a bunch of pictures I suppose. But this is mainly just for critique purposes, like I've not done um, my lighting properly yet. These, this lighting is just to, you know, just so I know where I'm going and things like that. Um, I greatly welcome all criticisms. I'm trying to get this to, well, to look as good as I can make it look. Um, apologies for how choppy this will most likely play. My PC isn't that great, which can make working within the scene quite difficult, but that's okay. Um, okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, all my assets and uh, objects in are made by myself. Um, I did not have time to put normals or anything like that on them. It's purely just the texturing, um, but it looks okay. Um, I'm still meaning to put screens in these computers here, um, which again I'm yet to find out how to do, but I know it can be done, so I'll look some tutorials up. But um, this is purely to show what I've got so far in terms of actual what I've got working and you know how my level's built. So let's take a quick look, play from here. Okay, so obviously um, I've got all my collisions on everything, so now you can't pass through everything. We've got the main room here. Um, it's like I said, the lighting's not finished yet because you can obviously see, you know, bits like that look a bit dodgy at the moment. But um, there are two rooms here. Uh, one will kill you, and one will send you onward. This project's uh, an interactive narrative, so we have to make multiple decisions that affect the outcome. I might need to tweak the texturing on the walls still, but I'll wait until I'm finished, nearly finished, to do that. So the first door here. Um, this door opens if I run close enough. You can go through there. Obviously, as you move back, the door will shut. But it only the animation only plays once. The idea is when you go in there, the door will shut behind you. So, obviously, oh, never mind. <laughs> Forgive me, my mistake. I've um, got a little sign there, which is supposed to trick the player into going through there. Let's go through this other door. This is supposed to be a hallway that will lead you onward. Um, I made the pipes myself, and obviously you have to plunk those in. Um, the the floor, wall, and ceiling textures is not my own work. Um, it's it's within the engine. I've just put it here. I put it in originally as a placeholder, but I think for the purposes of the project, I'll just use it for now. Um, there's supposed to be a big wall, uh, sorry, a big hole in the wall, my mistake. And I'll be using speed tree to put trees on the outside, so you can obviously see through there. Let's go and see this other room. Again, the door opens like the other doors. Um, this is the second room that the player will go in. There's a waste hatch there, which doesn't open. It's um, it's locked at the moment. Um, excuse the white line, that must have been an error on my part in the texturing. Um, yeah, one thing to notice, there is a radio up the up in the uh, sort of top of the room. The radio won't be talking to the player, but it will be speaking to the player via subtitles, um, telling you what you have to do. Um, for example, this radio here will say, the waste hatch is locked, you have to find a way to open it. Um, there are two doors here. Uh, this door doesn't open, but I made an animation of it, sort of like, and, you know, going faulty. You can't go through there, so the door doesn't open, then it shuts, and obviously you can't open it. There's another room, more pipes that I made. Um, here there is supposed to be a lever and a PC, and you have to use one of these. Um, if you use one of these, you die. If you use the other one, you can proceed. I say it so um, when you hit the E key near this lever, the lever goes down. Off close enough, <laughs> um, the lever goes down, and that also that also opens the waste hatch, and that's the way out. So obviously you go through here, um, you jump down, and the game will end here. So okay, so I hope that managed to show you what I've got so far. Again, like I said, I do welcome all critique. The lighting isn't finished, and the level itself isn't finished, but I just thought I would show what I have so far. So. Thank you very much.